Air Force headed to San Diego State. Of course, a little uh, little Pac-12 love, maybe. You know, just a little bit. Air Force is a one and a half point favorite. Total sits at 44 on this one. It's 9 p.m. Eastern time on CBS Sports Network. And let's talk about it. Let's move it up on to your screen. And I've got Air Force over the past five weeks, favored by 4.73. Air Force has not won against San Diego State, no matter the location. Since 2009, they are just not good at doing it, which is why uh, my full season stats have Air Force favored over San Diego State by like eight and a half. But over the past five weeks, it's 4.73 because at San Diego State, I mean, you see them, PPA margin number nine, their offensive PPA per drive is number 26. Like Maiden is an actual quarterback that can throw the ball they are pretty good pretty pretty good on offense number three ppa per pass number 16 in passing success rate over the last five weeks but that air force defense is pretty good number 24 ppa per pass allowed number 39 in passing success rate allowed number 15 in passing explosiveness like they they defend well what what san diego state wants to do on offense as far as running the ball san diego state cannot do it they cannot do it even though they try it a lot they run the ball 56 percent of the time or close to 57 but they're number 84 in rushing success Success rate. Air Force is number 35 on defense, uh, and they are number 91 in PPA per rush. Air Force is number 73. So, eh, something to pay attention to with that for sure. Standard downs PPA. Uh, Air Force number 30 on defense. San Diego State number 72. Like, even if they are behind the chains, uh, San Diego State they they know they're good at passing the ball. I will say that. Passing downs PPA when they get in second, third, and long, uh, they are able to convert. And they'll probably be able to do so here um, because Air Force is number 61 in passing downs PPA, but they are number 27 in passing down success rate allowed. So something to watch when it comes to that. As far as the Air Force offense is concerned, uh, we'll scroll it down here and take a look. Air Force, obviously, they throw the ball 12% of the time. I mean, it's the lowest rate in the country. They ain't worried about it. They ain't worried about throwing the ball, so don't even pay attention to those stats. But when it comes to running the football, well, San Diego State is still pretty good with that 335 defense at stopping the run. Will they be good enough to stop Air Force's version of running the ball. That remains to be seen. Air Force number one in stuff rate allowed. And San Diego State's defense is number 31 in that on defense. Uh, PPA per rush, Air Force is number 11. Uh, San Diego State is number three in PPA per rush allowed. But when it comes to this, San Diego State is only having to defend the run 35% of the time. Like They are number one in lowest rush rate allowed over the past five weeks. Air Force is number one at running the ball. They run the ball 87% of the time. So something to pay attention to with this. Uh, most teams know that they cannot run the football on San Diego State, so they just don't do it. Air Force doesn't have that option. So can they scheme up enough to be able to actually score? That's where this game is going to be won and lost. I have got an Air Force over eight and a half win ticket. I might hedge a little bit and take some San Diego State money line. But when it comes to the numbers here, I think I'm going to ride with Air Force to cover the one and a half. I think this is the kind of year where San Diego State plays differently than they have in a very long time. They get a little risky with the ball. Uh, you start to look at turnover margin. Uh, San Diego State is number 70 in giveaways per game. Well, Air Force is number 22. The team that's more likely to beat themselves here would be San Diego State. So I'm going to ride with that. I'm going to go ahead and take Air Force minus the one and a half here. May, may seem kind of dumb considering, again, Air Force has not beaten San Diego State since 2009. But alas, here I am. I am expecting winds of change when it comes to the Mountain West right here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.